Hi everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. So it's going to be a bit different this term. So my phonics, my phonics lessons and for my phonics group and for everyone at school really, we're going to be doing our online learning. So instead of you being in school listening to me doing my phonics lessons, you're going to be at home watching them on the videos and they're going to be pretty much the same lessons so you're not going to miss out. And even, and even better, this says Tuesday doesn't it? And it's probably not Tuesday when you're watching this because I'm even filming it on a Wednesday. And the reason for that is because we're trying to be, so we've been sorting lots of things out for you. So we're a bit muddled up this week. So I'm still going to film it because I still think it's really good. But it doesn't matter. Just don't tell anybody it's Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic light. I'll get rid of that before anyone else sees. Lovely. Right. Before Christmas. Before Christmas. We, uh, we, we, we did our phase two phonics and um, we're going to move on to our phase three because I think you're all ready. Does that sound good? However, we're going to have a little bit of a recap. So I want to see how good you are at remembering your phonemes from before Christmas, yeah? So I'm going to reveal the phonemes and then you are going to say it to your grown-up if you're sat, there, you're sat there watching it with them or you're going to say it to me. Does that sound good? Fantastic. Right, are you ready? You ready? What is it? It's a s. Well done. It's a a a. Well done. T t t. I i i. This one, it's a digraph. It's a digraph. Digraph. K and k either comes at the middle or at the end of words. How about this one? It's a e, e. And we've got o, o. So you might, I did this on the videos before uh, while well, we was at home at Christmas, and we've got a we've got our double di double digraph, and if there's two two, it always comes at the end of words like huff or oh I don't know puff or hit, uh, tiff. Oh, trying to think now. It's been that long since we've been at school. Right, what about this one? Uh, uh. And we've got our digraph. Uh. So we've got our digraph, and because it's a digraph, it comes at the end of the word. Well done. And now we've got is that another digraph? It's and what are these ones? Oh, silly me, I've not got any. Right, well done. Right, let's move on. So we're going to have a practice. Uh, writing, so if you've got pen, paper, or a whiteboard, and a pen at home, whatever, it doesn't matter. There's something to write with and something to write on. We're going to practice writing our grapheme, and today we're going to practice writing the grapheme s, a, t, and p. Okay, so watch me. We're going to go up and round, back down, and it's okay. I'll do that one more time. Up and round, back round and s. Okay, that's us. Right, now we're going to do an a. A. Okay, round, like a k. And up to the top, little, little stalk and flick. Okay, right, now t. Down and cross. Down, round and cross. Oh, put that in the wrong box. Silly Mr. Dio. Down, round and cross. Down, round and cross. Right, and the last.
last one is a up, down, through the line, and around. Right, I'll start again. Start, start in the middle, down through the line, up, and round, and connect. Yeah? Right, I'll bring that up. I'll do one more to show you. Okay? Then start the line, down, up again, round, and connect it. Lovely. Right. Okay, right, have a look. I want you to do that. Pause me now. Pause me and have a go. And play me when you've when you've re when you've done it. Okay? Pause me. Move it on. Right, we're gonna have a look at our tricky words. What's the first one? It is is. It is is. Oh, where are I'm out, I'm, I'm a bit rusty, guys. I'm a bit rusty. I forgot how to use my board, I've not used it in three weeks. Right, let's try it again. It, it, what's this one? The. Well done. Remember to keep practicing your tricky words and your keywords at home. It, it, oh, it's a funny one. It's a funny one. That's not how we write. It's an ah. For some reason, well, not for some reasons, because Mr. V is not that technical, technologically advanced. Well, that was an apple, wasn't it? But it's a tongue twister. And that's a silly ah. But I can't, I can't fix it. And I don't know why, but I'm just, I just can't. Fix it. I need to ask someone because if I if I can't do something, I need to ask someone. So I might ask one of the other teachers and see if they know. But we write an ah like this, and you just wrote the graphene ah. So that's an ah. So it's ah. Lovely. Right. Next one. Go. Well done. What is it? Dog. Well done. Have a think. What is it? Mum. Well done. Have a look, have a look, what is it? Have a think. It's a cat. Well done. What is it? It's into. Very good. Into. On. Dad. Am. Well done, make sure you keep looking, practicing. Pause me if you need to. Oh, we've had dad. Let's have a look. Oh, and we've had the and in. I think that is all of them. Oh, I don't think we've had uh, into, but we might do that next time, okay? Let's move on. Right, we're going to have a go at blending, okay? So we're going to blend these phonemes. And remember, some of these fo some of these words might not be real words. They might look called alien words, okay? However, we're practising our skills and we're practising to blend, okay? You ready? Let's go. What does it reveal? Mm. All, mm, all. You blend it, blend it at home. Well, it makes mol. Is mol a real word? I don't think it is mol. But it could be someone's name if we put a y at the end, and that would be mm, Ollie. But we'll do that later on the end because that's phase five on it, and we're just starting phase three. But don't worry. I just like to put some tricky things in there for you. Let's have another go. We've got another mm, right? Change the mm. Oh. That's a great, we've got a real word. It's a real word, what is it? T -e -l. T -e -l. What is it? It's tell, well done. If I, if I don't know something, I can tell a teacher, well done, or if you're at home, I can tell a grown-up. If I'm worried, I will tell a grown-up. Yeah? Well done, right, next one. What have we got? Oh, we've had, we've had the diagraph, ooh. Ah, keep, keeps coming up. Hey, oh, oh, right. Um, we'll have ul. D it ul. What is it? D it ul. Okay. D it ul. Dill. Well done. Right. We're gonna move on. Okay. Right. We are going to do, we're, using, we're going on to a new phoneme, we're going to practice a new phoneme, and today it's j, j, okay, can you say j, so we're practicing blending with the phoneme j, okay, you ready, right, have a look, if you can write this word down at home, have a go, and we're going to find the phoneme button, so we need to find the phoneme, we've got the phoneme j, or g, j or g, j or g, j or g, j or g. 
Jogger. Jog. Jog. Well done. Okay, next word. Jogger. Next the word. Jog. Right, you guys have a go. Right, find your phone in buttons. Pause me if you need to. Pause me. Find your phone in buttons. Try and blend the word. So pause me. Right, play. Right, so the phone in buttons we've got. J. We've got O. And we've got T. So we've got J. O. T. Right, blend them together. J. O. T. J. O. T. Mix the word. J. O. T. J. O. T. Mix the word. J. O. T. Well done. Right, let's move on. Right, so we need to segment the word jip. Jip, okay? So what do we need to do? Put the word in your mouth, chew it up, chew it up. Jip, jip. Right, stretch out. What? Fine, listen to these phonemes. Jip. I want you guys to do it at home, okay? So put it in your mouth. Jip, jip. Right, what's that first phoneme? It's a j. J. So we're going to write the graph theme. J. J. Well done. Right, what's the next? What's the next phone you need to hear? J. 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 Ip. It's an I. Well done. So they look very similar, these two graph themes. J. I. What is it? It's a. P. Well done. J. Ip. Well done. So J. Has the graph themes j ip in them. Right, jam. We need to segment the word jam. Okay? Right, jam. Lovely, right? Put the word in your mouth. Stretch it out. Jam. Jam. And what's the phoneme we've been segmenting and blending with? It's j. So can you hear the j? Jam. Yeah, well done. So we'll write another j. J. Am. And am is one of so we've got j am and we could we could find our phone names j am j am and I know there's a j a and a m so j a m can you hear those phone names j a m also am is one of our key words so we know it's j am j am and that makes j am okay well done right let's move on. So we're gonna have, we're gonna try and find this sentence. So use your keywords. So if you can, but if you want to, pause me and work with your grown up and try and figure out. So using the picture, figure out. So we've got some keywords and we've got some tricky words, and we've got to use our segmenting skills. Okay? Right. So pause me. Right. Let's find it out. I can see. What can you see? I can see our keyword ah ah ah. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to ah. Right. What else can you see? I can see if I one of our keywords dad. So you got something. We've got dad and ah. Have a look. Ah, uh, we you've got my. So what's one of our tricky words because we can't phonetically blend. We can't. De it's not decodable. We can't phonetically blend it together. My because. It's my. So my, we've got my, dad, and ah. Right. My, dad, and we know this one. This one's one of our one. Uh, we've got a digraph. We've got a consonant digraph. And that, because off and er together makes the, makes the phoneme or. And we're going to learn that on one of our, on our videos later on in the term, okay? So, but I've put that in there just to give you some pre knowledge. So when we come to it, I want you to tell me what it is. Does that sound good? Yeah? Well done. Right, so we've got my dad something for, for makes the word for my dad something for a uh, something. Right, and we know this one because it's one of our key words. It's one of our green key words. And if you if you've not had a look over Christmas, get your key words out and have another look and work with your have a look at what you think it is. So my dad, it's went. So we've got, what's that? We've got my dad went for a something. My dad went for a, what's he doing? Jog. He's going for a jog. So my dad went for a jog. And we need to blend, we need to segment the word jog. 
So put the word jog in your mouth. Jog. Jog. What's that first phoneme? Well done, it's a j. So my dad went for a jog. What's the next one? Jog. What is it? Oh. Well done. Jog. Jog. What's that last phoneme? G. Jog. Well done. It's a g. So my dad went for a jog. Right, you read it. My dad went for a jog. Well done. And I think that's the last slide. That is the last slide until my next video. So well done. I hope you all enjoyed the first, the first well, my first video of 2021. I hope you're all safe and well. Uh, please let us know how you're doing. Give us an email, okay? We'll, um, and just let us know how you're doing, okay? Hope you're all okay. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.